Hey, it's Mr. Peace. Have a short video today, and it has to do with bowling, right? And I love bowling, uh, have always loved it. But uh, there's been a lot of studies done where they take a group of bowlers and they film them, right? Uh, their entire game, uh, the strikes that they made, the gutter balls they made, the spares that they hit, the missed pins that they didn't hit, uh, and they keep track of their scores as well, right? And then they divide this group of bowlers up in, into two sections, and they do this for other sports too. But basically, they will have one group uh, rewatch themselves when they bowled well, uh, what they did right, the positive part when they hit the strikes, right, actually were very, very good. And then they had the other group uh, just watch themselves make their mistakes, right? Focus on the negative, the pins that they missed, the gutter ball city, right? And then they'd have them re-bowl and then basically try to track their scores uh, the first time they did it and then the second time. And sure enough, the group of bowlers uh, that watched themselves succeeding, doing the right thing, they actually improved their score quite dramatically. Whereas the bowlers that only focused on the negative and on their mistakes, right, they kind of had that mentality where they just kept doing the same thing and their scores actually went down. So it's this whole idea that we have to focus on the positive, right? And the more that we can do that, you know, whether it's bowling, whether it's shooting free throws, uh, whether it's, you know, anything, hitting a baseball, um, doing something right, you know, keep trying to always learn of course, yes, we learn from our mistakes and we grow from them, but really try to focus more on our successes and what we did right. And the more that we focus on that, we're gonna get more of what we want. So that's the bowling story for today. Peace.